next guy is from Canada. He is Michael Edwards, and he is the Director of Programming at Science East in New Brunswick, Canada. And actually, he does in Canada what I do here for Aztec, and runs the uh, live demonstration hour for the Canadian Association of Science Centers. But this is the first time he's been on this show. It's going to be very cool. And he's going to do a little bit of a demonstration about how your brain adapts to something new. So, let's have a big round of applause for Mike Redburn. I, I'd like to point out, we do the demo up in Canada. We haven't done 25 sequential years. We've done four years on and off. So we've got a little way to go until we compete with this one here. Um, my demo has to do with your eyes. My eyes are awful. They don't work the way they're supposed to, and I know some other people in the same boat. My lenses don't change shape the way they're supposed to. So in order to compensate for that, I put these where the, and if I turn them sideways, you can see how stupidly thick they are as well, <laughs> lenses here to adapt. So these compensate for the fact my lenses can't do anything. Now, if you could make a pair of glasses that use a different shape, of glass at the front, then you could really do some fun stuff. And that's what we're going to do. And I'm actually going to need a volunteer to help me with this. I need someone whose eyes function normally. <laughs> Come on down. He's got more energy than I do. It's really shocking. I'm blaming jet lag. We're seven hours behind in New Brunswick, so honestly, I have no idea what time it is. Michael. Anders. Nice to meet you. You're just having a moment here, never mind. Um, okay, so why we go for Anders? First of all, I need to check to make sure your eyes do function and you weren't lying to me. Turn and face me. I'm going to hold up my finger. What I'd like you to do is touch the end of my finger with the end of your finger. Good, okay. That's perfect. Now, what we're going to do... Hidden in my pocket. I have the glasses. And what we've got is we've got... Well, we wouldn't call these lenses. What do we call these? And we've got right angle prisms. Most people think of equilateral prisms, the ones that make the nice colors. These don't, these don't make nice colors. You're not getting any nice colors. What these are going to do is these are going to bend the pathway of light. We've got one side covered up completely, otherwise you get a little bit of internal reflection. So what this should do is move the pathway of light. So what I'm going to get you to do is put the glasses on. There's elastic there, but they're still kind of heavy, so you might have to hold them up with one hand. And I'm going to hold out my finger, and we're going to play the same game again. Touch my finger with your finger. Yeah. <laughs> what you'll see is his eyes are not working properly. Now, we're going to keep playing this game, so I'm going to hold it out again, keep going. Hopefully he will get better. And while he's doing that, I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm going to talk to them. You focus on getting better. Okay, so. <laughs> the first experiment, so we're done with this. We're actually done with chickens. And someone made little chicken glasses and put them on and... Go slowly, see if that helps you. Helps a little, keep going. And they put the food down for the chicken. <laughs> If he does it twice, applaud. Don't give him false encouragement yet, okay? <laughs> See? You can't even start a time, so hold your applause for um, These chickens, put down your food. Uh, Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Happy at this time? Yeah. Definitely getting better. These chickens would peck at the food on the ground, and of course they'd miss, like handlers. But, just like the chickens, and just like Anders, they began to compensate. They learned to adapt. So what's happening just now is he's learned that instead of looking, seeing my finger where it is, it looks like it's moved to the side, so he has to compensate for that. And that's what he's doing. And he's doing that quite well. We're going to stop. Keep the glasses on. Don't do anything. Now, <laughs> what happens, of course, is now that he's adapting, he's learned to function with those glasses on. When he takes them off, he's still going to think he has them on. And he's going to continue to compensate even though he hasn't got them on anymore. That's what should happen if things are normal. 
Doesn't always work that way, but we'll see. So we're going to do it, say, three more times with the glasses on, then we'll get you to take them off. And when you take them off, I want you to do it quickly, and wherever your hand ends up, we'll leave it there just so they can have a good laugh. <laughs> okay? Okay, so go slowly just now so you're nice and adapted. There we go. One more time. Okay, glasses off. Quick. <laughs> And you notice, stand by his side again, there you can put the back down, go fast. He's missing on the opposite side. He still thinks he has them on. Now, he'll stay like that for about 24 to 48 hours. <laughs> Hopefully about a minute or so. You'll see he's actually getting closer already, so almost back to normal. When NASA was sending people up into space, they actually initially put glasses on people. I'll keep talking until you get better. And what happened was NASA actually gave the astronauts um, glasses that flipped the image 180 degrees for when they were going into space, because they had no idea what being out there was going to do to the human body. And even then, people can actually compensate for that kind of thing as well. Now, just to make sure that we send them back up there perfectly normal again, I hope. Yay! Yay. 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 Back to normal. Thank you very much. And now there's that awkward silence where I realize I'm finished and I have to walk away. Thanks very much. <laughs>